When talking about the modern day media, bunch of them just stop doing proper journalism. Instead, they just use propaganda scripts to feed us with some garbage narratives. And in the case of modern sports journalism, it's not even worth listening to some of these clowns just throw some nonsense argument. One of the prime examples of this is Tom Habistro. To those who don't know these propagandists, oh, I mean sports analysts, this dude is the biggest LeBron writer. And he has one goal, to make people believe LeBron is the goal, and he will do everything for this. And now, after his goat played for more than two decades, and still not even close to the greatness of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, his ultra-fan Tom has the idea of what if instead of making a case of LeBron as the GOAT, let's just tarnish the legacy of MJ and Kobe to make Bron looks better. And in this video, let's watch Habstra trying to make a false narrative of Kobe being not a clutch player in front of Pima. Myth number one is that Kobe is the most clutch player of his generation. And we had this discussion yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Which guy would you like all time to take the last shot if you had only just five seconds left? T-Mac, you thought it was disrespectful not to include Kobe in that, but Tom, Tom is the numbers to even more disrespectful. Kobe stands, you need to sit down and listen to these facts only. <laughs> we have a great chart here. Best field goal percentage on game time go ahead shots. The league Rudy average Gay? is 27. The league average is 23%. Kobe Bryant right above the league average at 27. Then you got Dirk Nowitzki right there at 34%. You know, Kobe Bryant is a shot taker in the clutch, not a shot maker. He has oh over God. a thousand. Wow. Listen. Over a wow. thousand clutch misses. Kobe. Unbelievable. And as you can see, T Mac can't believe what he just heard. Right there at 34%. You know, Kobe Bryant is a shot taker in the clutch, not a shot maker. He has oh over God. a thousand wow. Listen. over a wow. thousand clutch misses Kobe in his career. At you right now. <laughs> and Dirk Nowitzki has only 730. So, Are you arguing Rudy Gay is the this, most clutch player that's in the NBA? That's what I'm about to say. No. D I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm just saying yes. this is evidence that Dirk Nowitzki is more clutch than Kobe Bryant. Me? Why didn't you say Rudy Gay? Rudy Gay is number one on your list. So say Rudy Gay is more clutch than Kobe Bryant. Tom, <laughs> state that right now, right here on the jump, in front of everybody. Including no, Kobe I, Bryant. Timux right here. If you believe Rudy Gay is better than Kobe, go ahead and say it. What's stopping him from picking Rudy over Kobe? This because he couldn't even believe what he just said. No player, coach, even sports analyst besides Tom, of course, would dare to pick Rudy Gay over Kobe to take the last shot. And guess what? Even this clown is not even a believer of his own narratives, let alone pick Rudy over Kobe. Here are some facts for you, have a straw. Kobe has the most game winners in the NBA with 38. And he has the most game-winning shots in a season with seven. He did it in 2009 season and won the title that year. He holds the record for the most fourth quarter points in a season with a total of 715. And no player in today's era has even cracked 600 total fourth quarter points. He also holds the record for most overtime points in the season with 415 has the highest fourth quarter average in NBA history with 7.4 despite playing in the most defensive era ever. He holds the most 20-point fourth quarter scoring with 11. So now, tell me, Tom, who's not clutch? Stop it, clown. We watch Kobe play. When Irving hit the most clutch three in NBA history to clinch Cleveland's first ever title, he said, Mamba mentality. Whenever some players see the game winner, they never say LeBron mentality. It's always the Black Mamba. It's because we witness it, we saw it, we watched it. Kobe Bryant is the most clutch player of his generation. And it's not even close.